Hello everybody and welcome back to the Gamer Donny channel here on YouTube. I'm Gamer Donny and we're going to play American Truck Simulator. Today we're back in the John Ruta's Peterbilt 389 glider. Um, we've got the Detroit Series 60 by Z Mods and an 18 speed in it. We've got the Wilson Livestock Hauling Trailer. I believe you can find that on the Steam Workshop where I found it from. Yeah, so we got uh, 254 miles. It's going to take about 5 hours or 15 minutes for a lifetime. Um, we're going from Riverton to Gillette with 66,139 pounds of cows in the back. So, uh, let's jump in here and get going. See what happens. Hopefully nothing too bad. Time to hit the road. Okay, turn that off. We'll need that on. GPS set. We're good to go. With our gear shift. There it goes. Alright. We are off. Go straight on. Here's some Project Next Gen graphics mods, uh, skybox textures, all that good stuff. Get ready to turn left. Why does it say turn left? We can't turn left there. Can we? No, oh, it's blocked off. Turn left. Whatever. He ain't turn left. DPS is already screwing us over. Now we can turn left here. This thing's got a 18 speed, it's a 2.83 gear ratio. Well, it, it doesn't have that much torque, but top speed, it got some real good top speed. It just takes you a little bit to get up there to it. Go straight on. Speed limit's what? 40, 30, 30 miles an hour. Go straight on. So, I was looking on, uh, what was that? I think I was on Facebook and I seen that John Ruta is making a 379 version of this truck with the uh, old school dash and that's something I've been looking forward to um, I like the way the old school dash is you can lower yourself down the seat and just, I don't know it just looks good um, that's gonna be interesting to see and the update for this so I won't have to rebuy it um, the update I believe he's doing something else to one of his trailers too, but I don't, I, I can't remember uh, what it was. So. New 1.48 version of the game will be coming out. We'll have to update all my mods. Well, all my map mods anyway. Go 
straight on. The game may run a little shitty. I still haven't got my new hard drive in yet. Waiting on some money. Come in. Hopefully it does soon. But since we get out of town, it should be okay. Got a new SSD hard drive. Go straight on. I don't guess it's really called a hard drive, it's just SSD drive. I got one of the old school ones now, that has the discs, the platters. Yeah. We're not the fastest in the world, but with the new games coming out and stuff, uh, I need to update it anyway. Straight on. How we doing on fuel? Oh man, oh man, oh man. Only had 200 miles, well, 270 miles to go. I'll be pushing it. We're getting 3.8 miles to a gallon. The other thing is, um, places where you can pick up and drop off cows on. and cattle, livestock are limited. It's only certain cities that you can do it in. Which kind of makes sense, but, you know, kind of sucks too, because they're far in between, a lot of deadhead. We don't make no money deadheading, unfortunately. Detroit seems to get a pretty good uh, gas mileage going on there, miles per gallon. Not the best, but it's uh, it's better than what most of them are. Let's turn some lights on so we don't get a ticket. change the dash lights in this truck to green. I think I did, I just didn't change the face of the gauge face. But it's still white. Let's see when the sun goes all the way down. The displays are green though. So. This thing only pushing uh, about 605 horses, between 65 and 620. Go straight on. 
boys. going to paint the dash lights to red. Kind of like the color of the truck. The truck is a wine red, metallic wine red, what they call it. I just gotta get the, um, the color code so I can put it into the file of the dashboard. Try not to shift gears while you turn it on, especially with livestock on. They'll all flop over to the side of the trailer and you're screwed then. Smooth with the shifting. Easy on the brake. Sides are green. Okay, I thought that was what it was. Supposed to have an interior green light too, but for some reason it's not working. Like it's thing needs another turbo on it. Get to really making some boost and blow the head off of it. Weld that bitch on. It fixed the display thing for the fuel mileage. See, it says we got 76 gallons, right? It says we can go 402 miles on 76 gallons, which is, or 480 some miles, my bad, which is not, not nowhere close to accurate. I don't know what the hell 
holes up there. That's never worked right. It's not this truck, it's all the trucks. Thanks for slowing me down and getting back over. You should just stayed over there to start with. Damn flatbed. here lately of uh just gonna take it out of gear fast enough while I'm floating. This just ought to sustain that gear, let one come back out. I gotta work the pedal. Work the throttle. about 12,000 miles on the truck. I didn't plan on remaking my uh, misbehaving truck. Look back at some of the older videos months and months and months back and you'll see it. You're running out of fuel. Turn 
left. Should be pretty close to being there. Keep right, so you can keep right. Turn right. Right. Keep right, and then turn right. Turn right. straight on. Ooh, we got to turn up here. What that one? Okay, it should be this next one up here. Turn left. Should be here. I don't see no one way street signs or anything, so. Should build a turn here. Trailer, we gotta watch out for these railroad crossings too. Turn left. This way. We'll cut back the other way. Should be able to pull straight up in there then. Get in here. 
there it is. The light look green. Do 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 do. Riverton to Gillette. That's a 254 miles, 17 hours, 36 minutes, 51.8 gallons of fuel, 90,322. Well, level 42, King of the Road. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a little shorter one, but nonetheless, I hope you still enjoyed the videos. Um, thank you guys for watching. It means a lot to me. And until next time, don't forget to. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment down below. We'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.